The World Health Organization and Partners in Health have held a stakeholder symposium at the British Council Auditorium in efforts to promote awareness and advocate for more investment to implement key prevention, testing and treatment intervention for hepatitis in the country and the world over. Whilst giving a statement, Robert Musuke of the World Health Organization said that whilst hepatitis is very dangerous given the fact that it affects the most vital organ in the body, which is the liver, the focus is on hepatitis B and C as they account for more cases and long-lasting suffering. Hepatitis refers to inflammation of the liver. Uh, Dr. Rako will tell you about the functions of the liver. And for those of you who have done some early classes, you realize that it's one of the most important organs in the body, if not the most important. You have hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D, and then E. But for most probably, the emphasis is going to be on hepatitis B and C because they contribute to most of the uh, cases and also they cause lifelong suffering. And um, they can be a background for other diseases that follow up. Dr. Isaac Brating, also of the World Health Organization, stated that viral hepatitis is now a public health concern, estimated to be responsible for over 136,000 deaths in 2015 alone. At the WHO, we believe it is possible to eliminate the viral hepatitis. The hepatitis B person in infants is one of the most crucial intervention in reducing new hepatitis B infection. Other measures include prevention of mother to child transmission, safe blood supply, improving injection safety in our health facility, and introducing services to prevent transmission among people who inject drugs and increasing access to testing and treatment. The founder of the National Alliance Hepatitis Sierra Leone, Lord Mensa Okeyere, while speaking on the meat and facts of hepatitis, suggested that in order to control hepatitis, more awareness and surveillance needs to be implemented by all health partners. Everybody seems to say that hepatitis is hepatitis. What is the evidence? What is the evidence? What is the data? What is the data? To show that hepatitis is only increased. Globally, WHO has made everybody aware that is a public health concern. But we need evidence to support that fact. In terms of surveillance, surveillance simply looks at the monitoring of the disease, right from the time the patient goes into the doctor's room to tell them how the disease. What kind of surveillance activities are in place for hepatitis? Do we need to include viral hepatitis in the list of notifiable diseases which the ministry has already? for surveillance of disease. In other countries in the South region, viral hepatitis is among the diseases that are notifiable, or which is surveilled throughout the country. So if anybody goes to any hospital and they do a test, they realize that the test is hepatitis positive, there's a list or there's a register where the person's details is entered. At the end of a quarter or a month, a report will be sent to the Ministry of Health. This number of people came to the hospital and they were hepatitis B positive or negative. Hepatitis C is estimated to have infected about 3% of the world population and it is a major concern of chronic liver diseases worldwide. In sub-Saharan Africa, the prevalence of HCV is estimated to be between 0 to 14 percent. Hepatitis B is a viral infection that affects the liver and can cause both acute and chronic diseases. The virus is transmitted through contact with the blood or other body fluids of an infected person. However, it can be prevented by currently available safe and effective vaccines. Reporting for Star, Sarah Kale in Freetown.